Hi Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and this reading we're going to find out what are your most attractive qualities to people who have met you. And today is the 30th of June, Seth, uh, yeah, 30th of June 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 7.10 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. If you are divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same sign, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, the people who have met them, what are the attractive qualities? Um, yeah. <laughs> what are the attractive qualities to people who have met them? Yes. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing well. Nine of Pentacles, sorry, Nine of Swords in Love First, Three of Wands in Love First. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. People who have met you. Attractive qualities. Page of Cups right here. Oh, you're cute. Page is definitely a cute uh, card for me. And look at this little fish that's coming out of this cup here. So there's something cute about you. Um, also something different. There's something quirky about you. It could be anything, yeah, and it could be the way you speak or your little facial expression or that you could be someone quite funny, making people laugh. Page of Cups is a funny card for me as well. So those could be some of your attractive qualities to people who have met you and the way you dress for some of you too, the way you dress. Hmm. You're good at the way you dress, okay? So, you know, I'm not gonna say that there's only one way of dressing. Obviously, everyone dresses differently, but whatever, however you dress, okay, what you put together, they find that very attractive, okay? And I'm pretty good at talking. You're quite a conversationalist, yeah? People like to hear what you say, especially when you're in that good mood, fun mood, because Page of Cups is fun. So you are fun. Yeah, there's a fun side of you. I'm not saying that you're fun 24 hours, seven days a week, but whenever you're in a good mood, you're in, like, it can be so fun. <laughs> nice. Six of Pentacles here. So well, first we've got the Fool. Look at this. This is an Aries energy. So a sense of adventure. So some people may find you to be very attractive because you're you're quite adventurous. You you take risks. Which you're just so different. Yeah, the Fool and the Page of Cups. These two cards are definitely different. Look at the way the Fool is wearing, like the clothes, the clothing. See another fun vibe that I'm getting here and look at the sun right here very bright so when you're again in a good mood the fool is definitely in a good mood especially you know in an upright position good mood I'm ready to conquer the world I'm ready to go on this trip I'm ready to do this it's a very exciting energy whenever you're excited about something it's like this you just shine, right? And it's very infectious. And look at this little dog right here. Sorry. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> so my bottle, my moisturizer. It just started to, never mind. Crazy things happen around me sometimes. But anyway, <laughs> I don't want to freak you guys out. Um, yeah, it just started moving. On its own <laughs> my moisturizer bottle but anyway so the fool right here standing on the edge of the cliff so it's like hey I'm I'm there's something about you where it's like I, I'm up to do it like I'm I'm open to doing something new there's this energy where 
people find your your qualities to be attractive. If someone was to say, "Hey, um, do you do you want to do this? Let's go do this," and most people will say, "No, no, 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 I'm not gonna do it because it's scary or because it's not used to." But you're open to trying new things, okay? Oh, by the way, I just realized that my one of my uh, really really good friends, she's a Leo, and. She is coming to Bali. I'm in Bali right now, right? So she's coming to Bali, and then I'm planning this itinerary for us, for both of us to do. She's coming from the states, so it's one a, once a year holiday that she gets. So I wanted to make it special and、I、can squeeze in everything. But so I, I was、uh, suggesting a few things, and she was like, "Yeah, yeah, every, everything." She went. She went. Yeah, I'm so excited. You know, there's something about you. This, you know, how excited you are. How, how, it's very infectious. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. And then I said, and I suggested, let's go surfing. Learn surfing because I want to learn surfing. I've been in Bali almost one year, but I haven't even gone surfing. I I bought surfing, you know,、uh, suits. That I've never worn, and I was supposed to go with my German friends, but they already left, and I couldn't go last minute because I was sick. So, but anyway, at first she was like, "But I'm not like I can swim, but I'm not such a good swimmer."、Um, and then, but and then she thought about it, and she went like, "Okay, let's do it." <laughs> so I think this is that vibe that you give off to people that are that could be very attractive, right? Even though that's something that you feel、eh, six of pentacles on my first, as though I'm not sure if I'm good at it, but I will give it a go. So this energy and it makes people feel excited as well. Okay, I'm going really slow with your reading, huh? That's because I'm um I'm actually a little bit tired because I've been working so much, and、uh, but anyway, I'll get to that part. What I've been working on for this channel actually. I've already mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again at the end of this video. So the three of wands here in my first got the four of cups, nine of pentacles in my first. Yeah, so this page of cups is like someone who convinces someone to do things, like four of cups and then nine of pentacles in my first. This there's this energy where there is someone in particular that I'm seeing right now. Whom you have met before it could be your friend. You're always their motivator. You 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 motivate them because the four of cups is like I'm feeling demotivated. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Like this is a boring card, but you're not boring. You're embodying this page of cups and the fool. So you're constantly like the motivator. I I whether it's with whoever it could be related to work. Some of you. Uh, or it could just be friendship or family situation, but you're definitely good at what you. You're very convincing when you say something, okay, and it makes people feel excited again. And we've got the page of swords here, so you're intelligent. One of your attractive qualities to people who have met you is you're just being really intelligent, and you're curious. The page of swords definitely a curiosity card for me. You're curious. You're you're uh, um. You want to learn. You want to learn new things. So, can indicate that.、Um, what is that word again? That you, yeah, inquisitive. Yeah, you are very inquisitive. You are willing to learn. There's this energy about you learning, willing to learn new things and up to any sorts of challenges. The fool here. Yeah, Ace of Swords here, and we're first, and then we've got Nine of Swords here, and we've got the Five of Cups. Sentimental.、Uh, Five of Cups is quite a sentimental person because,、um, you know, focusing on something that has happened in the past. So, this to me is a sentimental card. Whenever I do this type of reading, so、um, people may find you to be very sentimental. People have met you, maybe. Maybe you talk about your past, or that you are still very close to people you've known for a long, 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 long time, or that you're very good at taking care of your things. Like you don't really get rid of people that quickly, or you cherish. It's like you appreciate, or that you cherish people. If people was to give you something, you would keep it. 
you will cherish it. You will feel very grateful that you will show your gratefulness. Hope that makes sense. Okay, it's a sort of very helping people see that you know there's this way, your way of doing things, your way of saying things. You will you help people to see things. Uh, you you help people see things in a different manner, but in a positive and exciting manner. Inspiration, I would say. You you some people are very inspired by you, by just the way you are, right? Just the way your personality is very infectious. I definitely see that. All right. Anyway, take care, Leo Aries Sage. This is your reading. If you resonated, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I mentioned to you that I was going to tell you about this. Next month, today is already the thirtieth. I'm going to be recording. I've already started doing that. Actually, I'm gonna、uh, create a playlist where、um, you can always come to. You can always go back to this video. These videos that I'll be posting. It's a manifestation、uh, video, manifestation playlist. So, you if you want to manifest money, if you want to manifest love, anything. But I'm gonna start with love first, one by one. Okay. <laughs> First, first one. I want to see what everybody thinks first. So basically, you can just play that video and then you listen to it, or you before you go to sleep, or you listen to it when you wake up, or while you're driving, or while you're on a subway,、um, while you're in a subway, and you know whether you really, really listen to it intently or not. Whatever we listen to, it will register in our brain anyways, subconsciously. So that's another that's another form of manifestation, but you can also repeat after what I say in those videos to make it even more powerful. All right, or before you go to sleep,、um, the reason why I want to do that is because I've been getting I've been doing that for I think three months already. I fall asleep to manifestation videos. So it gave me an idea that I should be doing that as well, and it's what I want to say, but I I think it's gonna be even more powerful. But anyway, let me know in the comment box below if you're interested. But I still am gonna do it. <laughs> Take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right. Take care. Bye.